to Dubai to celebrate New Year's Eve. So we're rolling into the New Year in style, and we're going to be flying with what airline? Our one of our favorite airlines in business class. Look, there she is. What a beaut! Here we are! Going cozy in. Alright. Yes, now this is more like it. This is our first time flying this in class with Kathleen and Silly. I cannot wait to test and try everything out. Alright, so. Nice. I see your room is already digging in. <laughs> we have our controller that controls everything, but screen is right here. So we can pop that up. Hi. Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, please. Oh, I understand how the TV works. So this, even though it's on my side, that's actually for you, Hussie. <laughs> and then that is facing towards me. <laughs> I think, right? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Such a noob. Oh, there we go. It's popping out. It's popping out. Yes. Oh, hi. Do you have to be green? Yes, please. He actually thought it would work like that. So spacious too, I love this. And it is so private, I can't see anyone else, even my boyfriend. If I didn't want to see anyone else, it's really nice. And look how much lake room I have. Yes. All about that. Like, I can't even reach all the way up there. That's how much leg room I have. Oh. Oh yeah. So lovely. I cannot imagine flying to Dubai any other way. Thank you. Ooh. It smells like eucalyptus. It's so warm and refreshing. I also have this whole other compartment for storage right here. I don't know about you, but no matter how many times I fly business class, I still love to soak everything up. I literally have no chill. But that's just me in a general nutshell. A no chill. If I'm excited and I love something, I'll let you know. Just like now as we jet comfortably across the world to the Middle East. Welcome to Dubai! Spending New Year's Eve in this magical futuristic city. Welcome to one of the most wealthiest cities in the world. Hello Dubai! It's the Middle East Premier Antrepo, a city of skyscrapers, ports, and beaches where big business takes place alongside sun-soaked getaways. The city is a melting pot and the atmosphere is generally tolerant. And of course, I'm spending it with my boyfriend, Yurun, and... Dubai. <laughs> Yes, but they're more liberal here, huh? See? Yeah, okay. Dubai is actually considered like the Sin City compared to the other Middle Eastern countries. And it's where more liberal-minded goes. And of course, 90% of the population is made of expats. Oh? <laughs> Look at all of these skyscrapers just stacked all in a line Woo! in the middle of the desert. Wow, Dubai! 
Uh, so we're just heading towards our hotel to check in for our stay for New Year's Eve. But just enjoying the view along the way. Now, this is a huge coincidence that our travel itinerary just coincide with being in Dubai for New Year's Eve. But here we are. It's, I mean, not too shabby of a place to ring in the New Year, am I right? Especially while we have had extensive travels in the Middle East before, we had never rang in the New Year or celebrate such a big celebration in this part of the world before. Ready for the bed test? Time! <sighs> So nice to lay horizontally after our flight all the way into Dubai and then getting here. Whew. Since this is our first night in Dubai, we wanted to grab some Middle Eastern bites before heading out to watch the fireworks. Bring on the falafel and flavors of garlic and spices. Try one of these strong rolls. This is the beef one. We gotta make some beef chicken and dunk it in here. Right there. 